Yo, what's going on guys? DJ Hess here. I have the most epic way to start a game of Mob of the Dead in solo. Really think you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with some friends or whatever. Let me know in the comment section if it helped you out. But basically, you notice what I did right here. This is the be very beginning and just pay very close attention to what I do. And you'll get like four, five thousand, six thousand points before the end of round one. Uh, it's really crazy. Extra points. I mean, I'm talking about... Um, after you open um, a couple of the doors as well. So you notice I opened that 2x up on the side. I did not pick it up yet. There's no point in picking up the 2x until there's zombies in the room. That 2x does not disappear. Uh, so it's very important that you leave the 2x alone until zombies start appearing. The bottom line is you need to open one door uh, to get out of here before the end of this round and it costs a thousand points. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this 2x here. I'm going to knife. I'm going to shoot the guy in the knife to, to get the most amount of points possible. Uh, rebuild the barrier until it hits the maximum, which I believe is just like four, uh, four builds there. And then that was one zombie. Now there's always six zombies that spawn in the first room and you're going to go ahead and kill five of them. You got to leave one zombie. Absolutely essential if you want this to work. All right, so you're also going to notice on the lower right-hand side, there's three weird squiggly line um, blue thingies, and those are your afterlife um, icons. You get three of them when you're doing solo when you start off in round one. When you use one, obviously it goes down to two. You only get a maximum of three, however, so you want to use them before, at least one of them before round two. Um, you have, in order to make this really work to, to be able to get four to 6,000 points, you need to be able to use afterlife on this side and make sure that the key spawns on this side. If it spawns on the other side, you'll still be able to get a handful of points, just not near as much um, on, on this first round at least. So you want to knock out that thing to drop the key down. And you can see the warden key will drop down. But this is the other important part. You need to just come over here and just shock this thing. You don't have to run back and jump up. You just look up and shock it. And then you shock the one over here. And that one's the 2x. So you drop the key. You open the door to downstairs. And then you open the 2x. You can see right there the door is open. And I'll show you in just a second because you're going to run down there. You grab the key. You leave the 2x in the room again because it will stay there until you grab it. It does not disappear. You're going to run downstairs, you're going to come over here and open the door with the warden's key because you found it on this side. Now, the the purpose of this is when you grab the, well, and I'll show you, I guess, as we go here because I'm just giving you guys the entire playthrough and this is just so easy. I really uh, think you guys are going to like this. So, you go in the afterlife mode after you open the door. If you don't open the door first, you're not going to be able to shock this. You shock the thing on the wall and it makes it so the washer will allow you to um, get the first part for the airplane. Uh, when you get this first part for the airplane, zombies will spawn in. And that's why this is dope, because they spawn in on, on round one, which means you can knife them and they, they will die in one hit. Uh, and there's at least 12 of them that spawn in and you knife them with one hit. So right there you saw that I, I started the washer and now it's blocked from, from going up there because uh, it needs to tumble and dry the clothes or wash away the soles or whatever the heck the, the clothes is doing in there. And it's just going to tumble around. As it's doing that, I'm just going to run around and knife people. Now, I ended up getting a nuke right there. And for some reason, the nukes, when you get them in this first round, do not kill everybody. Th they will keep spawning in. So as you're going to see right here, it's going to tumble, dry, and stop. I'm going to grab the part right here. Um, that's the first part for the airplane. If you need to know how to do the airplane tutorial, um, check my channel because I have a tutorial on where all the parts are for that. But I ran upstairs now because they're still spawning in down there and they're going to be spawning it up here as well. Now I'm going to run over and grab the 2x because this thing is what makes the magic happen. I'm getting 2x for kniving, which is 260 points per person. And I, I haven't even um, left round one yet. So you can see right here, Already 3,000 points, and these guys are just still spawning, spawning in down here. I believe they spawn about 12 of them, like I said, uh, from doing that washing machine. So you want to do the washing machine on round one if you can because you can knife. You don't have to waste ammo. You don't even have to have a gun. This is just a fail-proof plan to get 4,000 to 6,000 points before you even move on to the second round. You can use these points, obviously, for other things. Here's an example right here. I just glitched it to another one or fast-forwarded it to another one. Look at the score on this one. This is I did the same exact thing, and I ended up getting 6,000 points. Hopefully, you guys found this really, really helpful. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it with your favorite commentators. Let them know about this method that I found. And uh, as a little bonus, I got a ray gun on round two. Pretty, uh, pretty awesome uh, way to go here. But hopefully, again, you guys enjoy this. Uh, thumbs it up if you did. And uh, thanks for stopping in. Check my channel. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. I have tons of uh, gameplays and tutorials and tips and tricks for the new map. Catch you guys later. Peace.